No, I've seen her walking without it before. There's like a bunch of those dogs <laughs> <laughs> on our street. <laughs> Golden Retrievers are pretty popular, I guess. Uh, but we're taking her to the Waldorf School. She's helping out with camp that her mom is running. That yeah, was fun yesterday. Mm -hmm. The children were good. Yeah. Were you the baddest one there or the best one there? I don't know. No. Did you listen and do what you're told? Mm -hmm. And that's being good. Ah, okay. Let's just continue. I uh, was online this morning and uh, in my YouTube feed, the suggested things something popped up and you'll want to see this there's a YouTube channel called crime pays but botany doesn't and he's the guy that talks about plants <laughs> he's got a Chicago accent because uh, he's from Chicago and he's he's kind of uh, rough around the edges when he talks but it's it's really informative and but his hands are all touching and that's all you see no, he looks like a, from what you see of him, he looks like he could be a criminal <laughs> <laughs> that knows a lot about botany. And not that it's just like pot or something. It, it knows a lot about uh, all kinds of botany. So, uh, anyways, the Chicago News did a, a story about him. And I'll show you that uh, maybe whenever. Right. Maybe tomorrow or something. Why? Uh, because you get to see him. In his videos, you only see his, his arm, <laughs> his tattoos. Uh, and, uh, but in this, you get to see him and see what he looks like. What does he look like? He looks like a guy that's a botanist. Seriously? <laughs> no, I don't know what does he looks Does he look like, like Mr. Hartman? No, like, no he tattoos. doesn't look like Mr. Hartman. Does he look like a Sean? No. No. Okay. You'll see. He looks like himself. His name is Joey. Uh, so, anyways, check out that YouTube channel. Crime pays, but botany doesn't. And uh, there should be some language warnings, but it's a really, really informative. Things that you would never expect to, to learn. You'll, you'll pick up there. A little girl. She ate a lot of potato wedges yesterday. I picked up a chicken from the grocery store and a uh, box of uh, potato wedges, and <laughs> she really likes potato wedges. It's good, I guess. She can eat them. Let her have them. Okay, I'm gonna pop over to the shop, uh, do a few things over there, then I gotta go do something else, and something else, and something else. Uh, not a lot of boat work today, I don't think. Uh, we'll see how things go. Uh-oh. i keep my coffee. So i finished, uh, playing around at the shop, I found my, oh man, I've been looking for this thing, <laughs> I found my uh, circuit tester, it's just, it's a, a light, a testing light, you can look at the ground and find, find power, <laughs> I don't know how long I've been looking for this stupid thing, but it was in, uh, in a drawer at the shop, oh well. I've got it now. It's supposed to be in a drawer in the toolbox in the garage. So that's where it's going to be soon. As for me, soon, I'm going to be at the chiropractor's. Get a little tune up.
been to see the chiropractor. It's wandering through the village now. Cute little dog. That's a friend Andrew's place. A nice little Ontario cottage. He's done it up really nice. He's an artist. Have an eye for things. I really like this part of town. It's old, like uh, where we live. It's uh, the same, I guess, uh, age for a lot of the homes here. And it was called Wortley Village. It wasn't part of London back when it was uh, developed originally. It's when Worth got the name. Uh, but it's cute. Cute little place. Everybody has a dog. travels today, I've uh, just going past Habitat, uh, one of my favorite stores. It's used, uh, used construction stuff and all this furniture and stuff. There's all kinds of great stuff there. And when I was there, I found uh, tinted plexiglass, a uh, quarter inch thick. I got two sheets of it for six dollars. And that's going to be the new windows on the McGregor. So here's my uh, new plastic that I've got, or polycarbonate, or whatever you want to call it, plexiglass. It's a quarter inch thick. Um, I want to show you the color difference between this new stuff. Let's leave it there. There's some scratches on it that I'll pop out. So this is the new stuff, and I've got a cover from one of the hatches or one of the access points in uh transition the mcgregor i've got hidden in that undisclosed location look at the difference in color this is purple this is inside the boat this doesn't get a lot of of uh uv light other than transient through this other uh the windows so look at that look at what happens when you double them up so, uh, I'm not going to change the, the interior ones. These look black enough when you put it up against something. It's good enough for me. I don't care about the, the looks of that. Um, so now I've got to get uh, my windows uh, measured and uh, I'll just copy them out onto uh, trace them on a piece of paper and then I'll put them on this and make a, oh, there's my other sheet, and cut them out. And uh, I should have enough uh, plexi for two boats. Maybe enough for this front window of the siren too. I don't know, I have to measure the front window. Maybe not, who knows. Front window's not leaking as of yet, and if I play with it, chances are it's gonna be leaking. That's the Auto Helm 1000. Just uh, playing with it. Wanted to measure how long this shaft is. At full extension, so I've got to figure out how it works. tape measure. The reason for measuring this is, uh, okay, that's two feet. That's pretty easy. Is to determine the length of extension I need for the end. What, uh, what happens is this part plugs into the hull. Or, yeah, so it's, it's fixed. And the other part uh, goes back and forth, attaches to the tiller. This is at its full extension, so I want to know that 
and I'll divide it by two, which is one foot, I guess. Uh, but I need to know how far from the side of the boat where this is going to be mounted and to where that's going to be mounted in the center of the boat. I want to know, I guess, how far the tiller is going to go. So, uh, I think in the instructions it says 18 inches ahead from the pivot point of your tiller. But anyways, I, I've got to get the right length, uh, which needs I have to be at a boat to do that. But let's uh, put this back in. I was looking online for the schematics of uh, this uh, to find out what my wiring is going to be. And uh, oh, there we go. I found out it's brown is positive and blue is negative. So I've got those marked. <clears throat> this also has a feature where you can attach it to your uh, GPS. Uh, I'm not going to use that. That plugs in here at the side that I'm just going to use this, uh, this compass. It's simple. It doesn't have to do its job for very long. Like, uh, ideally I just want to be able to use the bathroom or go make some coffee or whatever. I'm not going to go have a nap or anything while this is, uh, sailing the boat for me. So good. I'm happy. I'm very happy with this. And now I can get on uh, get online. The parts are ready, readily av available, uh, so I'll just order something. Good stuff. Uh, so I got to go in, make some phone calls, and see about uh, ordering those parts uh, locally. And uh, I don't care when they get here. Sometime next week is fine. The motor can't go into the healing tank until after garbage day, which is Monday. It's the healing tank is the garbage can. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. Click clicky things and uh, I'll see you in the next one.